so uh, yeah, went for a run this morning. Just made some breakfast for the boys and I'm just doing some work on the computer now, trying to find some music for some videos I have to edit. And we might go for a slack line down at the park soon, but um, yeah, pretty much all I have to do today is uh, edit one of these videos. Uh, we got a play test uh, for Rocketworks and a company meeting and a few other little things here and there. All right, just finished some work up. Uh, it is a fucking stunning day outside. Better go down to the park and do a bit of slack lining. If you don't know what slacklining is, it's basically just fucking trying to stand on a rope that's suspended in the air. Uh, you'll see. But yeah, gonna go for a boost down to the park, boys, and just get some sunshine in before we uh, work for the rest of the afternoon. There's a few concerns a lack of access to vapes could push people back into old habits due to restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just got back from the park, did some slack learning, uh, got a feed, and now I got in half an hour, uh, I got a few meetings to do and a bit of editing to do. So we're gonna quickly have a bit of a jam on the FPV simulator. I've got like over 40 hours on it now. I'm starting to get pretty confident. So about 10 minutes ago, I actually uh, made a decision to purchase my first FPV drone. It was quite a bit more expensive than I thought it was gonna be, because I got the um, DJI digital uh, set up and everything so it was like a little bit over two grand but it's gonna be a good investment I'm gonna make some insane videos and I think it'll be quite a unique opportunity in the market for drone photography and video in New Zealand not a lot of people are doing like commercial um, applications or even any FPV at all in New Zealand so I think it could be a really good way to spice up my business as well as the car videos and everything as well so we should be getting that in the next few days and that'll be its own video uh, doing the first flight but I mean, if this lockdown goes for a few weeks, we could be doing some uh, FPV freestyle stuff in the CBD and uh, around Auckland, so that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. So we're gonna have a bit of a jam on the FPV now, and then we're gonna do some meetings and stuff, so we'll see you later on. Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a hit list. Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a swear I had a Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a hit list. Everyone who doubted me is asking for forgiveness. If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got the witness. Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a hit list. Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a swear I had a So it is now, what day is it? Sunday. Sunday. It is now Sunday and we are on the way to pick up our FPV drone. Look, it's a five inch chair. It's a fucking big five inch drone, boys. <laughs> it's a huge chode. So we got the full DJI digital kit uh, and this drone can go up to 160 kilometers an hour. So we're gonna be able to get some sick car content with this thing where the owner um, of the company who follows me on Instagram actually so shout out to you bro he reached out and um, he offered to help me find out which is the best one to get um, and he's also going to show me how to set it all up and do our first flight and everything so we're heading over there now and see you there It's a bit like trippy, yeah, like, yeah. it's a bit <laughs> disorientating.
Cool, so we just got back from that drone flight. It was so, so sick um, to finally get my first FPV flight in. Uh, obviously it was pretty rusty as you saw compared to the FPV simulator footage from before, but um, I was really I'm not used to actually wearing the goggles and seeing it that way. It's almost like VR, there's like a massive screen that fills up your entire vision inside the goggles. But yeah, I'm super, super stoked. I'm going out tomorrow afternoon to do my first or a solo you know flight down by the beach by myself so I will see you guys in the morning I'm gonna be live streaming about once a week so if you guys want to stay alerted as to when I'm gonna be live streaming I do like live photo and video editing so uh, click the notification bell and make sure to follow me on Instagram which is just at Ben same as my YouTube username and I will let you guys know an hour or so before I'm gonna start live streaming. Probably on the weekends, probably like Saturday, Sunday night. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, it's another beautiful day here in lockdown in Auckland. Just woke up, had some breakfast, um, all that shit. And we're gonna go up to Bastion Point now, which is a lot of you guys probably know where that is. It's like a little park. We're gonna head over there now. Um, I'm gonna take all my batteries and just run all of them dry. Just practice, practice, practice. And then later this week, we'll go and do some more freestyle kind of stuff, but I'm still just being a but hang out a bit on the cautious side and want to get really good at the basic stuff in real life before I start doing some crazy shit. So yeah, we'll head over there now and uh, see you there. All right, so unfortunately the park is actually closed. Um, they just closed the gates at the bottom of the road, probably because last lockdown, everyone was fucking up there doing skids and shit. So, um, I mean the road's only like 100 meters long, so I think the drone should be sweet to just zip up there and we can fly around and it's good, kind of a good thing because there'll be no one up there. Um, so I'm just gonna park down at the bottom of the road here and then we'll get set up. So I don't know how well I actually showed you guys this drone last time, I don't think I showed you at all yesterday, but this is the camera on the front that you see through with the FPV. Um, it's like a carbon fiber chassis. The guys that sold it to me said it was like the Lamborghini Aventador of drones. Um, I don't know exactly what that means, but apparently it's pretty sturdy and it's pretty good. <laughs> so I still got a lot to learn, obviously, especially like, you know, if I break one of these motors, I got to learn how to, um, you know, put a new one on and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, the antennas are here, batteries, we got a bunch of batteries for it. Uh, that's where it plugs in. Pretty simple with these DJI ones, you basically put the headset on, you know, they've already connected it up all for me and everything. So you put the headset on, uh, make sure everything, voltage and everything is sweet. And then this here is the set of goggles that comes with, it looks pretty nuts. Uh, it's basically just got a screen on the inside there. I thought it was like a full VR thing, but it's basically just a screen on the inside so you can see everything. And yeah, that connects to the drone up to like, I think it's like five or 10 kilometers if you had the long range uh, bit for it. So pretty nuts. And it's just these antennas here connecting to, you know, those ones there. So pretty crazy technology. We'll get it up in the air now. I'm filming this on my phone right now because I had to run up the hill, but I already fucking lost it. <laughs> already lost it um, I flew it up and it instantly lost like it instantly lost connection couldn't do anything about it I probably should have just walked up here so I could see it the whole time but I didn't think it was gonna go out of uh, connection that quickly so hopefully I can find it it's either in these bushes somewhere or somewhere in this massive field and I can't really see This doesn't really show anything in here, <laughs> just shows that it's sitting in some grass. So, not quite sure how I'm gonna find it, but see how it goes. All right, so I ditched the um, headset and the controller because the battery in the drone ran out anyway. It's either somewhere in here or it's the complete opposite side of the park because when the, uh, when the connection cut out, it was like just over the field here but I've checked the entire field and it's not in there. And I could see on the camera that it was stuck in the long grass. So Dean had a great idea. I just messaged him. I was like, yo, <laughs> lost the drone already. He's like, oh, you should fly the Mavic um, around all the grass and see if you can spot it from a, another drone in the air. So he's gonna bring over the Mavic now while I keep having a look, but I'm hoping I don't have to go rummaging through this long grass for hours trying to find it. <laughs> So 
Dean pulled through the laptop, uh, SD card reader, so we just got, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but we just got the footage on the screen here. And it looks like it cut out just up here, like pretty much as soon as I leave this little road, it cuts out. So it must be in this area somewhere, which is like this, which is like the super grassy area just up here. So I've already walked around the entire field, but it's definitely not in the higher part. So we shall go explore more. So it cut out like literally right here, but like 20 or 30 meters up. So it has to be in this little section here, hopefully. Been looking for like over an hour now. Not the goods. It's gotta be like in this little area somewhere, but it's a there's a fair amount of ground to cover, so. So unfortunately it's looking like the drone is pretty much fucking gone. I walked around for like an hour and a half and I posted it on Instagram and there was a few of you that were looking for it as well, so thanks for the help, but yeah. Looks like it's Looks like it's gone. Um, I'm pretty upset that it lost connection when it was only like a hundred meters away. And as you would have seen on the video, like it lost connection and I was still able to control it. So I tried to like turn it around and hover it and I was running up the hill to try and find it. And I don't know where the fuck it's gone. It must be really deep in some grass somewhere or something. But anyway, it's starting to rain outside now. I just got home from looking. And um, yeah, bit gutted, but uh, didn't, I mean, it was, I don't think it should have lost connection that easily. I was only like a hundred meters away, but I was around the corner from like, 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 like there was sort of a hill in the way, which you're not meant to do. I should have been closer. I should have just walked it to the top with all the stuff. Um, so yeah, bit gutted, but learned a good lesson today, I guess. And um, yeah, I guess I'll order another one. It's just the drone part, you know, the, I think it's like five or 600 bucks. So it's an expensive lesson, but um, yeah. Order a new one and then as soon as that gets in, we'll start again, I guess. All right, so as I was filming that outro, you fucking legend, like I, I thought it was gone. Um, Jordan on Instagram, JLPG New Zealand. I'll put his shit on the screen. He was there with his fucking metal detector looking for it and as I was at home getting some food and I given up and he fucking found it boys. He fucking found it. So I put on my post on Instagram saying that anyone that could go and find it could get a $200 cash reward. So we're on our way to Starbucks to meet him. We're going to get his money out. I'm going to pay this man because he just saved me. I just looked on the website. The drone is $900. So happy to give the man 200 bucks for his time. And he's a fucking, he was down there in like five minutes. He's a fucking legend. And uh, yeah, very, very stoked right now. So I'll see you in a minute. So we're here with Jordan. Hey guys. The man who found the drone. Fucking legend. So there's your money, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Which will be worth right. an hour of your time. Yeah. <laughs> well, All thanks right. so much for yeah, that, man. No worries. What a roller coaster of a day. So it's now almost 4 p.m. I think I left the house at 10.30 or 11 to go practice that FPV. So thank you so much again to Jordan. Very, very stoked that uh, the drone isn't gone. The drone is perfectly fine, by the way. It's absolutely flawless. So it's kind of raining outside now. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like tomorrow, but I will probably just do sort of a FPV progress video or some highlights rather than taking you along for like all the flights. I think it could get a bit repetitive, but I don't know. Let me know what kind of FPV content you want to see down below. And yeah, go and follow Jordan, he's the man. He was there like five minutes after I posted it on Instagram with his metal detector fucking searching for it and he got it, so very happy. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you probably in a few days for the next one. Peace out and stay safe.